Good morning everyone. This is Dr. Jagdishri Vishwanath from the Department of BA English. Today we are going to see uh, Paradise Lost Book 2 by John Milton. He is a poet, historian, pamphleteer and is considered to be one of the significant author in English after William Shakespeare. Coming to Paradise Lost, it is an epic poem written in a blank verse and of course it's a biblical tale. So what do you mean by epic poem? Epic is a long narrative poem that usually recollects heroic deeds. An epic poem can be, an, uh, can be such as you know um, religious tales, animal stories, histories, uh, or philosophical or moral theories. Epic poetry uh, has been and continues to be used by peoples all over the world to transmit their tradition from one generation to another. Coming to blank verse, what do you mean by a blank verse? Blank verse in poetry is something that lacks rhymes but do follow a specific meter. A meter that is almost always iambic pentameter. So what is iambic pentameter? It is a line of verse composed of 10 syllables arranged in a 5 metrical feet, each of which consists of an unstressed syllable followed by a stressed syllable. Okay, so it's an epic poem written in blank verse and of course it's a biblical story. So what do you mean by a biblical story? It is a biblical tale uh, that brings out the fallout, uh, uh, that brings out the uh, fall of humankind at the moment when Adam and Eve, you know, tempted by Satan, eat the forbidden fruit from the tree of knowledge and was banished by God from the garden of Eden forever. Okay, so Milton, uh, you know, the opening, uh, the poem opens with uh, Satan's throne, description of Satan's throne and Milton describes the deceitful and cunning nature of Lord of the Hell, Satan and his uh, fallen angels or you can call them as devils or legions. Okay, so Satan opens the debate in the pandemonium. So what do you mean by pandemonium? It is a state of, la, you know, of great noise and confusion or in a single word you can just tell it as a chaotic situation. Okay, so he claims that the heaven is not lost yet. He, uh, heaven is not lost yet. He tells them he can read the uh, uh, Satan as well as the fallen angels can regain the heaven as well as their position as angels. Okay, so uh, the poem begins with the, this description. Satan asks his uh, fellow fallen angels that whether they should go for a op an open war or covert gain. So what do you mean by open war? It is a war that is waged directly. Now what is a covert gain? It is nothing but doing something in a secretful and deceitful way. So now he asks his fellow uh, followers to come and uh, propose whatever they can they are going to do okay so the first speaker here is Moloch okay so he is one of the strongest and fiercest fighter okay and he anxiously he proposes that they should go for an open war and he he tells he adds that there is nothing to lose rather than the hell so it is better that they must go for a open war against God and his angels now it is the turn of uh, Belial, okay. He, Belial contradicts Moloch, okay. So he tells, he eloquently, he tells them like they have like already uh, God is very angry with them and if they are again going to go on a war, it may make him more angry. So he tells that they can wait and they can let, they can stay as it is and they can wait for God to forgive them and maybe God will even ask them to come back to heaven. So he tells his fellow uh, devils that they should wait and it is better to live with what they have now. Now it is the third, it, it is the turn of the third speaker after 
Molak and Belial Mammon. So he refuses, he says that he will never ever bow down to God. And he tells that let us all make up, put a hard work and make the help their own kingdom. He tells rather than bowing and serving God, let us all make our own kingdom and live peacefully in the hell. His argument is welcomed by the fellow devils with a big applause. Now it is the turn of the last and final speaker, Beel's Bab. He prefers freedom to servitude under God and counsels a different plan of action. Apparently he tells there has been rumors in the heaven that a new world is to be created to be filled by race called man and God uh, will be showering his love more to the, these rays rather than the angels. So he advises the devils to seek revenge by corrupting and destroying the new beloved race. The crowd is very happy and they are all out anonymously for this plan and Satan volunteers himself to do the job.